to you, you'll, you'll uh, I'm sure by now, have noticed all the new choreography. <laughs> it gets crazier as we go on. As a young woman in my 20s, I, I didn't have really great self-esteem nor confidence. I'm still kind of, I have my days when it's everything seems pretty good, and then I have my days when things aren't so great. But I think the thing that I've kind of tried to master now that I'm in my very early 50s <laughs> is um, just a language that I have with my own self. I know that sounds kind of esoteric and crazy, but I think the way you talk to yourself really affects how you go about your life. Um, you know, I learned in my 20s, I'm thinking, why am I my own worst enemy right now? Why am I foiling all my plans? And I think when I changed a dialogue with myself, I really started to see everything else around me change. When I wrote this song, it was a kind of a really crazy period in my life. I um, was really promiscuous in my 20s. I always thought about my mom whenever I was like in one of these horrible little towns way in northern BC and I had some kind of a weird thing go on. I would think of my poor little mom sitting like in a chair in the corner of this god-awful hotel room and I just was like so guilt-ridden and mortified. So then I just started picturing Olivia Newton-John and that didn't help me. <laughs> but this, when I kind of came around and had a, a much better relationship with my own self in my 30s, I wrote this song kind of looking back at where I was and what life was like. This is called The Sound Of. Life is simple, life 